All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Tack Self Destruct Continued mod, which is currently being taken over by Linux Guru Gamer and was originally come up with by Tyrannus Elsu. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a wonderful little explosive charge that you can put onto your ships to either destroy the whole darn thing or just that specific part, and who doesn't love that? And in fact, this is actually one of those mods that I meant to look at ages ago when Tyrannus Elsu was still working on it, but it, it slipped my mind, I never got around to it, and well, thanks to Linux Guru Gamer bringing it back to life, here we are to finally give it its proper due. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building, and have a look at the one part that makes it possible. Now let's grab ourselves a Mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison. Zoom in, because this piece is quite small. And head to the utility tab, where on here we will find this lovely little black box, the X1100 self-destruct, which you will notice it does actually weigh a surprisingly large amount for such a small thing, 0.1 of a ton, so maybe you'd want to watch putting a whole lot of these things onto a ship as it could quickly add up in weight. But overall, this thing's quite an interesting little piece of work, and, well, as you can see there, very, very tiny. I mean, it's not even as big as the window here. It is a very, very small thing, but packs one heck of a wallop. Now you'll notice it is just simply a box model-wise, which, I mean, it's a bomb. What do you really expect? I'm not expecting this to be some complicated piece of machinery with tubing like a Convertitron. I just need it to go with boom. And it does that very well. Now, as for the texturing, I actually do appreciate the little explosive warning signs and the little tiny text that is on it, which you can't read from here, but I mean, it's there, so yay. Now, as for what it does and how it does it, like I said, it can either destroy your entire ship or just the parent part, and actually, there's a third way, it can just blow up. If you don't want it anymore, you can just click explode and it'll explode. Uh, hopefully not taking any other parts around it with it, but that's that's no guarantee. Use at your own risk. But as you can see, it has been added into the staging down here, which is one of the features of the explosive. If we right click on this, you can see that we can disable that staging if you only want to set one of these off manually. But if you do want to be able to stage it quickly, you can leave this on and just, you know, Make sure you don't accidentally set it off, but uh, you know, we can turn that off and as you can see it will go away Now one thing I do want to point out when you do have staging enabled as you can see up here We have a countdown and a time delay when it's on staging The time delay doesn't seem to always work in fact I don't think I've ever had it work on the time delay when staging. When you manually set this thing to detonate, time delay always works. It'll count down the five seconds, or alternatively, up to 60 seconds, or as few as one seconds. It'll count it, and then it'll go boom. But on the staging, I don't know, there seems to be perhaps a glitch with that, because once you set that off, even if it's at 10 seconds, it will just go boom when you hit spacebar. Now, uh, that is something there. Now, you can turn off the countdown if you don't want it on at all, which, you know, is an option. And finally, we have this button here for the mode. Like I said, you have the different ways of exploding. Self-destruct mode will kill the entire ship. Mostly. I'll talk a little bit more about that when we're on the launch pad here in a little bit, but for the most part, it should destroy your entire ship. Now, if you click the mode button, we have detonate parent, and that will only take out the one piece that the explosive is attached to. So, you know, if you don't feel like adding a decoupler and you'd rather just blow up an empty fuel tank, <laughs> that is an option and a fun one at that. Now, those are the only two modes you can uh, select between in here. On the launch pad, you will have some other options, including just an explode button, which will make just the bomb explode, like I said, with hopefully out 
hurting any other part around it. So let's actually load up a craft real quick that I was building to show off the different explosive types. And uh, I actually want to hook up one more bomb to this thing now that I think about it. Because we've got two down here to show off and I wanted one more here. There we are. Let's turn off staging. And, well, we can always mess around with the rest of that outside. So, let us go to the launch pad and show you how this works. And again, it's fun. Very, very fun. Now, first thing is first, we have these two down here, which both of which are turned on to detonate parent mode. So, they'll destroy this fuel tank, causing this nose cone to fall down and, you know, do as it will. And it is set to our first stage here, and so it should go off when I hit spacebar. But before we do, let's notice a couple of the other things that we have here. Again, we can turn on or off the countdown, but like I said, in the staging, the countdown doesn't seem to matter. We can change the mode if we would like this to be fully self-destruct or stay with the parent. We can set it to self-destruct right now. So you click this, it'll go through the time delay and it will go boom. So basically that is how you manually detonate these things and that will manually detonate the entire ship. Explode will just explode the singular part. Detonate parent will just explode that individual thing. So you can either switch between the modes for staging or manually do it down here. Up to you. Now for this one, I'm actually gonna just go ahead and explode it to show off that you can just make it go boom without hurting anything. Again, hopefully. There we go, it exploded without hurting this fuel tank, surprisingly. I mean, you'd think an explosion going off next to a thing full of fuel <laughs> would do something, but oh well. Now the next one that we have set for the uh, staging here is on a five second time delay, but like I said, if I hit spacebar, it just goes boom, but it did destroy that one singular tank. So that is how the parent explosion works. It will just destroy that one part and that one part alone. And now this nose cone is no longer attached to our ship and surprisingly just fell quite nicely onto the next piece. Huh, who'd have thought that happened? Now the next pieces that we have are of course these two explosives up here. This one is set to manually go off. We have it not set on the staging. As you can see, we have no more red explosion icons here, but we could say self-destruct this entire thing or detonate parent, etc. But I wanna show off something here and why I said self-destruct doesn't always seem to destroy the whole craft. So let's actually go down to this explosive. We'll keep it on the five second delay and we'll just hit self-destruct. There we go, we have five seconds until this goes boom and explosion. There we go, it is just being torn apart in a fiery helm storm of explosions. And wow, we even destroyed the launch platform. But you'll notice not all of the ship actually got killed, and actually our Kerbals are still alive somewhere. Where in the hell did the command pod go? Did it clip through the earth? Ah, oh, yeah, it did, it clipped through the rubble. So it didn't kill everything. It did kill most everything, but this fuel tank, this engine, it technically survived, they're not a part of the ship anymore, which I mean technically counts, but the command pod still lives. And that seems to be determined by where you put the explosive. If we actually revert our flight back to launch and go for the explosive that we had set on the capsule. So if we go up here and click self-destruct. Now you'll notice while the 10 seconds is going by, we do have an abort self-destruct, which I can click there. Boom, it all stops, we no longer have any issue, but we are wanting this thing to explode. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Glorious explosions. But notice, since we detonated the one on top, it kills everything, even our Kerbals are gone. As you can see right here, 
we did destroy the launch pad, which I am, I am very impressed by. That is wonderful. But the Kerbals are also destroyed. So this one did seem to get everything. So it seems that if you want to destroy the whole ship, you probably would want to put your explosive on the root part for the entire ship, which would generally be your command pod. But if you're wanting to just mostly destroy the ship, you seem to be able to just put it anywhere and it'll just kill most everything, but not potentially all of it. But you know what? I still have plenty of fun just going through and uh, detonating the parents of things. There we go, we lost that fuel tank. Now we've made the rocket shorter. And of course we could just explode, oh god, click on it, there we go, just explode that one to scare the Kerbals a little bit, but not actually hurt them. And just overall have fun with things, oh, I can't explode those anymore because they're not a part of the ship. But yes, that is the TAC Self-Destruct Continued mod. You have a lot of fun options with this thing, with how you can explode all of the things, and it is just a whole lot of fun. So if you feel like making a dramatic scene in a video, or just want to get rid of a part on your ship that you don't need anymore, you can do it. And I actually should mention, this does have integrated Kerbal Attachment System support, so you can, you know, load those explosives into an inventory and then place them on a part you don't want anymore and make them go boom, so it makes it even better. So if you'd like to check this out for yourself, take a look at the link in the description, as always. And I would definitely say to check this out. I mean, come on, it's explosives. How could you not love that? But that is gonna be it for this video, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, you do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. I was thinking maybe I could uh, take off in some dramatic final scene, but apparently that final engine he has there, not good enough to take off. Fair enough. Later, folks.